Hello and welcome to the UB Noise Flow introduction tutorial. The UB Noise Flow is a workflow for Logic 8 and 9 that puts the focus on a fast old school drum sequencing. It's a new way to take advantage of different logic features in combination to build up a simple structured and very flexible beat production environment. Forget about third party plugins and learn how to turn logic into a powerful drum machine with the fastest interaction you can imagine. The UB Noise Flow is very simple and easy to understand and the most important, it is easy to use. In this first video I'm gonna explain the frame which is the UB Noise Flow project template and in the second video I'm gonna explain the action which is the UB Noise Flow itself. Logic newbies and rookies who can follow have the option to watch the Logic Basic tutorials that belong to the UB Noise Flow. Just click on the spotlight or check the links in the information. So let's take a look on the UB Noise Flow template that you can download from the Speed Up My Door homepage. You can open this template with the Pro and Express versions of Logic 8 and 9. Logic 8 users will get the message that the template is created with Logic 9. But don't worry about this because nothing in this template uses specific Logic 9 features. Express users will get the message that the Space Designer isn't available. You don't have to worry about this too because the Space Designer plays no big role in the UB Noise Flow. Just use another reverb. When you open the template you see that the range window is totally minimized. I thought that's for you the best starting point to customize the UB Noise Flow template. Just understand the whole template as a starting point and feel free to customize everything like you need it. When we open the range you see a software instrument track called Startup Kit with a loaded stereo XS24. The XS24 plays the main part in the UB Noise Flow. If you like to start with other sample players, you will not be able to take advantage of the UB Noise Flow until you come down to the EXS24. I always like to work with the EXS, but I never like to use him as a drum kit player. Because when you are in the process and you would like to pan sounds or use different filter settings for the sounds of the kit, you have to open the instrument editor and make your tweaks there, save it and take care that you don't overwrite things, set the output, create aux channels and so on. You don't have much freedom when you use the EXS as a drum kit player. The workflow is always attacked by some administration issues. But the EXS is very useful as a single drum sound player. You have a fast access to the pitch, the filters, the envelopes, the drive and so on. As a single sound player the EXS is perfect. I added the EXS to play the startup kit just to have an easy starting point. In the later course of the UB Noise Flow, we will split the startup kit into single EXS software instruments. Other advantages of the EXS are that it comes with logic. You don't have to spend extra money. And the EXS goes easy on CPU resources. I made it a test where I created a hundred software instrument tracks with the EXS24 and different kits loaded. I created a MIDI region and copied it to all tracks and it affected about 40% of the computer CPU. iDrum for example uses about 70 to 80% for this task. So the EXS is really efficient. But the main reason why the UB Noise Flow came to life is the fast interaction between the EXS and the media library. After experimenting with Logic's channel strip in version 8 and realizing the possibilities of the fast media library interaction, I decided to organize my sample libraries to make this fast interaction more efficient for my needs. And while I was working on it, Apple passed me with the drum replacement feature in version 9. Ok, the difference between the new drum replacement feature in Logic 9 and the solution I was going for is that drum replacement is a tool to replace recorded audio drum tracks. And the solution that I was going for focused on drum replacement for MIDI productions. The result is nearly the same because at the end you got EXS instrument files that contain only one drum sound with root key settings that follow the general MIDI drum map. In the EXS factory library of Logic 9 you will find the single drum sounds next to the kits. Let's load a kit and open the instrument editor to see what I'm talking about. The instrument contains only one zone across the whole key range. The root key is set to C1 and pitch is enabled. The root key is also displayed in the instrument name of the single drums.
and if we compare it with the general MIDI drum map, you see that the root keys fit together. Kicks are on C1, snares are at D1, and toms at the white keys from E1 to D2. For drum replacement optimized EXS instruments, we call droptimized instruments. And following this, the EXS instruments in the single drums folder would be droptimized logic factory sounds. At the Speed Up My Door support forum, you will find more droptimized logic factory sounds. I created them before Apple came with Logic 9 and you can download them free. Ok, let's take a look inside the UB Noise Flow folder. At the top you see a track for Toontrax East Player Pro, which is a must buy plugin when you deal with MIDI. Beneath you see the track with the startup kit again, it's the same one like outside the folder. The third track is a MIDI track called Logic Drum Machine. The tracks 4 to 53 are software instrument tracks with the Stereo EXS24 plugin loaded. These tracks are all assigned to a key and named following the general MIDI drum map. At the bottom you see another folder. This folder contains free available groove templates from the internet. Let's take a closer look at the Logic Drum Machine track. It's a MIDI track and if you start to play your keyboard while the track is selected, you will trigger the EXS instrument tracks beneath. If you press C2 for example, you will hear and see track 18 playing, which is named as C2 High Tom 2. And if you compare it to the general MIDI drum map, you see that the key C2 is named the same. Let's switch to screen set 5 to see how the logic drum machine is wired. Let's reset the monitors. Above you see the logic drum machine which is a mapped instrument. Inside the mapped instrument you see that the cable settings are the same for all keys. But they have different MIDI channel settings. The octave C2 to B2 is sent over MIDI channel 2. The octave C3 to B3 is sent over MIDI channel 3. And so on. I'm gonna trigger the keys C2 and C3. And in the first monitor you see the note on and off events of the MIDI channels. Both nodes go through cable 1 into the channel splitter, who splits the notes by MIDI channels. And you see in this monitors down here, that the channel splitter did his job. C2 left the channel splitter over the second channel, and C3 went through the third. Both nodes are going into other mapped instruments. Let's take a look at the settings. You see that this time the channel settings are equal to all, but each node from C2 to B2 leaves through a different cable. C2 is set to cable 1, but you don't see cable 1 connected to anything. So what happens here? When you wire elements in the environment, you have the option to leave the layer. Just press the option key while you click on the triangle. A dialog opens and you can choose the element you want to wire from the other layers. And C2 is wired to the instrument channel, C2 high tom 2, and C3 is wired to the instrument channel, C3 high bongo. And that's the way all keys are assigned to the instrument channels. So that's it. Before we quit, let's take a quick look at the UB noise flow scheme for a summary and a better overview. Here's your keyboard and the general MIDI drum map as a guide for the key assignments. You trigger the logic drum machine, the notes split and every note triggers a different channel strip. In every channel strip is an EXS24 plugged in and out of the media library you load droptimized instruments or kits that have a GM drum mapping. So in this video you were introduced to the UB noise flow template. It's the frame for the action. And the action, the UB noise flow, I'm gonna explain in the next video. Thanks for watching.